What's quickest in a drag race? The new Volkswagen Amarok Panamericana, the Ford Ranger Raptor, or the Toyota Hilux GR Sport? Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Let me tell you about this VW. It's got a three litre turbocharged V6 diesel engine, which puts out 240 horsepower and 600 Newton meters of torque. It's got a 10 speed automatic gearbox and a four wheel drive system, which you can put into rear wheel drive if you want to. And I think I'll do that for this race because I don't need the four wheel drive grip and I think it will go faster just in rear wheel drive mode. So there, it costs £57,000 for this particular truck and it weighs in at 2.3 tonnes. Now let's find out about the Ford from its driver, Sam. Racing driver Sam to be precise. Hello racing driver Sam. Hello Matthew, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. Normally we like to race high performance cars, but today we're racing pickup trucks. So can you tell me about your Ford Ranger Raptor, please? This is a three litre twin turbo V6. So it's got 292 horsepower, 583 newton meters of torque. <laughs> All wheel drive, obviously, but it's got all kinds of diff locks, and everything, which is very, very cool. 10 speed auto, and it's a big old lump at nearly two and a half ton. Heavy thing and a heavy price, nearly 60 grand. Finally, then, let's find out about the Toyota. So, Nick, tell me about your truck. My truck is a Toyota Hilux, but it's the GR version. Oh yeah, Gazoo Racing pickup truck. It still has a 2.8 litre four cylinder turbo diesel, so no special Gazoo Racing engine in here. And that has 204 horsepower, 500 Newton meters of torque, four wheel drive, like your trucks, but instead of a 10 speed auto, I've got an old school six speed automatic gearbox. 2,125 kilograms this truck, and it costs 48,600 pounds. Now, if you want to compare the stats of these trucks side by side, pause the video now. Now let's continue with this video and the customary car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up my diesel engine. And let's hear your V6 twin turbo petrol. Is that a pickup truck? That sounds like a sports car. And it's got a blow off valve for a dump valve, as the youth would like to say. Sounds cool. Uh, Nick, let's hear your four cylinder diesel. This is going to be disappointing. Doesn't sound great. I think it sounds better than this. I don't know, they both sound pretty poor. Anyway, there is one thing we'd normally like to do with a car wide drag race, and that's warm the tyres. Sam thinks he can drift that Raptor. So give it a go, Sam. <laughs> Come on! Now, you wouldn't know that you were a precision driver for films and TV, would you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Huge respect to Sam for that. If you like what he does, follow him on Instagram, right? I've put his Instagram handle in the description. Go to that. Me and Nick aren't going to be drifting our trucks because we tried earlier and they won't drift. Even Sam tried and he couldn't drift them, so we'll save you the pain of them just under steering in a circle. Let's actually race, see what happens. Sam, you just need to nudge back a bit, mate. Sam, you're rubbish, look. That was like two centimetres, you're crap. You're fired. Rubbish. Nudge back a bit, Nick. Nick, you couldn't even drive forward sedately to the right location, you're fired as well. Am I back on the money? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you see, professional TV film stunt driver nonsense. What an idiot. Three, two, one. This literally felt like it was going to go backwards off the line. Why is this so slow? with it. 
Well, I wasn't expecting that. This was so hideously slow off the line. Like brake boosted it, and when I lifted off the brake, it's almost like he went backwards. You won, didn't you, Raptor? This is actually quite fast. It was so funny. I thought you actually made a mistake where you were going to stop because you were that far behind. Nick, you were just kind of in between that, weren't you? This was hideous. Let's go again. I think this thing doesn't like full throttle while your foot is on the brake. I think that just disturbed it. So I'm going to do it just tickle the throttle while holding the brake. Three, two, one. That's better this time. Oh no! Oh, that's way closer this time. Come on, now we've got a race on between me and the Hilux. I'm forgetting about that Raptor because it's gone. Yes, different story now, Toyota. Oh, no. Uh, but the, the range has just decimated me. Ha! Toyota. Um, let me just talk to the Toyota. I want to ignore, I want to ignore the Raptor. Ha! Toyota, I beat you that time. Yeah, I got a good start. I got some wheel spin in this. That was surprising, but yeah, I couldn't stay ahead. I couldn't beat you. I'm down on power. I'm down on everything. I think this put in a good effort. I literally don't want to speak to Sam in the Raptor because he was <laughs> in his own race. Anyway, I won one, Nick, and you won another one. So um, let's do best two out of three. Yes, I like this plan and cannot think of anyone who wouldn't. In that case, I'm going to try and launch in four-wheel drive, see what it does. I think it's probably going to be exactly the same. Don't be such a pessimist. Maybe it'll do a 10-second time. We don't know yet, do we? Imagine. Just finds an extra 600 horsepower. Anyway, I'm not talking to you. You're not in this race. I tell you what, the gearbox is good in this. It downshifts really well. I like it. Do we have to give this back? Not unless we buy it. Am I due a Brucey bonus yet for all my car well help? Yes, we're going to buy you a Ford Ranger Raptor. <laughs> Would you rather have a Ford Ranger Raptor or £62,000? I want this. So when you have a chat to your wife about, I'm back home in this big pickup truck. Well, I could have had £62,000. What will she say? I'm glad you're happy, honey. <laughs> and what will she really say? You're a stupid moron. <laughs> No, people that buy those trucks aren't stupid morons. You know, they want them, they like them, it's impressive, okay? Ignore what he said. Three, two, one. Oh! Look at that, I'm gapping that Hilux. Just between me and the Hilux. So, did you run it in four-wheel drive mode that time, Sam? Yeah, and it didn't get any wheel spin, so it just bogged. And also, I was doing three miles an hour less with four-wheel drive crossing the quarter mile than I was in rear-wheel drive. Do you wish you hadn't gone in four-wheel drive mode, or are you just indifferent? Yeah, definitely. Without the wheel spin, you're just not getting off the line. It just bogged in four. With a little bit of wheel spin, you're always going forwards, aren't you? That's right. Oh, well. You still won. Let's do the thing. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Ford won, completing the standing quarter mile in 16.0 seconds. The Volkswagen took 17.1 seconds, and the Toyota was last with a time of 17.7 .7 seconds. Now we're going to a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Automatic modes for the gearbox. First of the half mile wins. Get level, people. Here we go. Hello. Three, two, one, go. Oh, decent gearbox response. Oh, look at that wrap to go. Goodbye, Hilux. I'm not that far behind Matt, yet. Congratulations, Sam, you've won again. Oh no, wait a minute, you're not in this race. Oh, bad luck, Nick. In your Toyota, I won. Well, at least I didn't come third or anything. That would be embarrassing. Second's okay, I can live with that. Even if it's just two, second's okay. Let's do that again, but without 
the kick down thingy majig. Let's go manual mode. So this becomes really slow when you put it in normal mode. Well, I say slow, like slower. Have you got a sports mode? Yeah, I've got, it's got Raptor mode and it's got loads of different settings. It's really cool. Okay, for the next one, go Raptor, go full performance, whatever you can do. But we have to change gears manually using the silly little buttons on the gear selector. Actually, Sam, you've got paddle shifters, haven't you? Yes, I do. Nick, in your truck, how do you change gears? In the Hilux, it's weird. I've got paddle shifters and I've got a sports mode for the gearbox, but it doesn't really put it in manual. It's kind of like a pre-select. It's you tell the gearbox what gear you want next, and then it changes when it wants to. It's weird. I don't even understand what you just said, so just do what you can. Well, I'm gonna go in third gear. So, Sam, and you'll do whatever your truck decides. Okay, in third gear, I'm basically bouncing off the limit, so I'm gonna have to go for fourth. Here we go, fourth gear, I'm in. Three, two, one, go. Even then, I'm like on the limiter. That Toyota didn't do so badly at that time. You can really just feel it run out of puff. <laughs> Yay, that was exciting. Nick, you lost again, I won. Clearly the uh, Volkswagen Amarok is the best pickup truck you can buy, bar none. It's definitely the quickest in all the races. Oh, look, there's the Raptor. The Raptor really won. How are you finding that, Sam? Do you like it? I absolutely love this. This is really good. I don't have much hope for it in the brake test with these big knobbly tires. Do you reckon it's safe to do the brake test from 100 miles an hour? Or should we reduce the speed? You're also like a safety expert, so it's up to you. I insist on it being 100 miles an hour. Let's see what happens. I don't want you doing our health and safety again. Thank you very much. I'm now a bit frightened. Right, now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The truck which stops in the shortest distance wins. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another drag race, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Right, we need to somehow get level. Here we go. We are now in formations. Here comes the line. Goodness me! Oh my God, that was an amazingly clear and awesome win by the VW Amarok. And I didn't even have to pretend that the Raptor wasn't in it. Wow, I didn't think I was stopping. Nick, I don't know why it took you so long to stop, Nick. What was your problem? I hit the brakes hard and it felt okay briefly. And then the pedal just went straight to the floor. And now all I can smell in here is, <laughs> is brakes. Not nice. Do you think they're rather hot just from one brake from 100 miles an hour? Yeah, I'm a bit worried the, the discs might warp, so I've put it in park instead of holding it on the brake. But also, this is the only one that has drum brakes at the back. You guys have discs all around, so they were going to get hot doing drags, and they stay hot. Oh, well, there you go. If you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, because we've got some more crazy drag races coming your way.